Let's hope that this is focused, yeah. Hello everyone, it is Hannah, and I'm sorry that I didn't get a video up yesterday or Friday, depending on when I upload this. I don't know, I just did a poll on Twitter seeing if you want this video up today, which is Saturday, or if you want me to wait till Monday. So, whenever it was, I'm sorry I didn't get a video up. Anyway, but today, I thought an exciting video. At least it's exciting for me, I don't know about you guys, but I love watching unboxing videos, and I just got a package from Ulta. Oh. Basically, I did an order the other day at like 2 in the morning, because they had a thing where you get like a surprise, like six piece thing of free things. I don't know. But anyway, I want to apologize in advance about my nails. They're not done, they're all like peeled off and they look disgusting. Let me just go ahead and put out there, the last thing that's on my mind when I get a package from Ulta is, oh, let me paint my nails, wait for them to dry, set up all my camera stuff, and then wait and open it. No, I gotta open this thing the second I get it. You're lucky that I'm filming this right now because it took everything in me not to tear this open the second I saw it on the counter. Anyway, let's hop right into this because I'm excited. Got me some scissors right here, I'm just gonna cut this open, and then I'll pull everything out for you guys. I'm really excited about this because I had no video ideas and then I remembered, oh, I'm getting a package. And I saw it was going to be here today and I'm like, yes, perfect timing, I can make a video. I was hoping that it'd come early in the day too, like it did. Okay, so first when we open it up, I've got some bubbles. Okay, so first off, I got my three-piece, like, you know how you can pick, like, three samples at the end, and you can do, like, skincare, I think perfume, maybe the other one, and then, like, a random sampler. Well, I always get the random one because they normally include makeup, which they did, I see. So let's go ahead and open this up. Actually, I'm going to save these things for the end because these are surprises for all of us. All I know is I love this bag. Let's open up the things that I ordered. First thing that I see here is the Nivea Men post shave balm and I got the sensitive one and basically if you don't know about this which I'm sure you do because everyone and their mother knows about this post shave balm if you follow anyone on YouTube especially Nikki tutorials it's basically you use this as a primer and I don't know if this is gonna work on me I'm praying that it doesn't break me out but I've heard so many good things about it and Lord knows I need a primer right now because I'm running out so I was like okay I'm gonna give this a shot so I bought this Figured I'd hop on the bandwagon and try it out. And if you guys want to review on this, just let me know because I would happily do one. So that was the first thing. And then next, I got a little bag of goodies. I didn't get much, but I mean, I got a good bit. They're just smaller items. I was going to buy the Alice in Wonderland palette, but there were so many sales going on that I was like, I don't want to do this instead. Okay. First thing on the top here is the NYX Glitter Primer. That's what it looks like. I'm really excited to try this out. Oh, I can use this on my lips, you guys. I'm supposed to be doing like lip art later. Ah, yay, I can use that. I didn't even think about that. So I got the NYX Glitter Primer. I'm hoping that this is back in focus. Then next, I got this, which I am so excited about this. Okay, so I have been obsessed with the Gimme Brow. And basically, like, I've gotten it one time, but then I got, like, a sample of it, so I've had it, like, two times, but it lasted me a while. And I was obsessed with it, but I didn't want to buy it again because it's, like, $22 or $24, I can't remember, for, like, a little tube, like, this big. And it's just to wipe through your eyebrows, but I love doing it during the summer, like, when I don't feel like doing a ton to my eyebrows. It's just awesome to use. So I was super excited when I saw this, and this is the Essence Make Me Brow. Now, they changed the package on the Gimme Brow, but the Gimme Brow used to be in a package just like this, and this actually seems bigger, and this has the fibers and everything in it, so it's basically an exact dupe. Let me see the wand. Ah, oh, yes! This is the Gimme Brow! Gimme, gimme! Make me a brow! <laughs> this stuff is like $3, so if you want me to do a review on this as well compared to the Gimme Brow, which I don't have it anymore, but I could give you my opinions on it and like show you the old package if I could find it. Just let me know because I would happily give you guys a review on this because I have strong opinions on the Gimme Brow, so I'd love to give you my opinion on the Make Me Brow if you'd like it. And I got the shade Blondie Brows because the Then I just picked up another one of these because this is the eyebrow gel that I use because once again it's like three or four dollars and it works really really good. And this is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara like this and I just picked this up because I was running out. And on Ulta they had a thing where if you spent ten dollars then you got a free mascara so you know I had to buy two more Essence products. <laughs> 
So I got the Essence Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade. It doesn't have a shade. thought it had a shade online. All I see is CBAE, but I don't know what that is, but this is what it looks like. It's a very pretty color. I was hoping that I would like these. I have no idea how all well these work because I just ordered it for the first time. I never even knew they made liquid lipstick, so I was very happy about that. So I will try these on at the end of the video, that way you can see them too. Another one, and this more of a nude shade. No, that isn't the shade, by the way, because this one has the CBA in it too. Oh, this one's almost real. I see the shade. And this one is Beauty Secret, number two and number three. But this is almost real. I don't know if this is focused at all. It's probably not because I can't see a thing right now. Then since I spent $10, I got this free I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara by Essence. Which I don't really want to open right now, but I'll open it just for you to see the wand. I don't know if this is good mascara or not, but I was like, hey, 10 bucks. Oh, I like this wand. That's what it looks like. It looks like a rubberized wand. It reminds me of some wand that I used to love, but I can't remember what mascara. I think it was like a CoverGirl mascara, but that's what that looks like. That was free with like a $10 purchase through Essence, so that's why I got all that. And then I saw a girl on this Facebook page that I'm a part of, this Facebook makeup page, to have this lipstick on, and I was like, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? And she said it was the NYX Liquid Suede in, I think it's Sandstorm, I don't know. Sandstorm, yes, or number seven. That's what it looks like. It's got a big reflection on it, so I'm sorry. But I will try this on at the end for you too. Last but not least out of the stuff that I bought is the NYX Photo Loving Primer and Anti-Redness. And this is just the green primer. This is just to counteract the redness in my skin. I don't know if this is going to work, but I was like, hey, once again, I need a primer. So I decided to get this and then the Post Shave Balm as my primers. If you want a review on any of this stuff, just leave it down below because I'd happily do it. I'm probably going to do some reviews on these just because it's fun. Okay, so let's look at this free stuff that I got. For the three-piece sampler, let's cut this open. These are always a nice fun little surprise, which is why I like ordering offline. I got the Clinique Custom Repair Serum and it's just like a little packet sample. And then, oh, I'm excited about this. Hey, this is supposed to be, I thought, three things. No, it's only two. Oh well, I don't care. Um, but I got the Tarte High Performance Naturals. It just looks like a powder. Creamy powder foundation. So it's just like a little flat cardboard thing with samples of the foundation, which I'm excited to try because I love Tarte. But then I got this free six piece, I believe it said, um, set. It was like a surprise sample set if you spent $40 online, which I did. And so I got this and this is so cute. I love how this is a clear little package. No idea what's in here because, I mean, I can see it now, but like I had no idea when I ordered it, but it was free. So I was like, okay. This package is very, very cute though. First off, we have Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick. What? <gasps> ah, Urban Decay, I'm excited. Oh. Hold on, it's like a little tiny lipstick. Let's push it out of here. Oh, I hope this isn't a color I can get away with. Come on, be in a color I like. Oh. <laughs> this is definitely my kind of color right here. This is beautiful and I'm really excited because I was gonna order a Revolution lipstick, but I didn't even need to. This is in the color Rapture and I'm already obsessed. Oh my gosh, I love it. Their lipsticks are very good from the little samples that I've had before. I didn't have one like in this, but I had it in like a little pot thing. Walking while it's blurry, my bad. That's probably driving you insane. Next thing that I'm seeing in here is this Saint Tropez Gradual Tan and Shower. Lord knows I need this because look at me, Casper. It's like a gradual and shower tanning lotion from my cat Watson. So that's exciting because I always need a tan because I mean, look at me, pasty. Next we have the Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. Uh, Camo, can you not get that back? Thank you. I'm saying that right, but basically it's just like a cleanser and my cat won't stop me out. So that's cute. Next we have this Bliss Fabulous Drenching Queen Cream to Water Lock-In Moisturizer. Hmm. It's like a little moisturizer, which is good because I need some moisturizers right now. And we have the Skin & Co. Umbrian Truffle Hand Cream. I don't know how to say that. So yes, yeah, just a little hand cream. I'm going to smell it. can't really tell what it smells like. It doesn't smell bad, but it's not like the best thing I've ever smelled. 
but it's something I definitely still use. And this is the Ahava, 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 Dead Sea Crystal Osmotor, Osmotor, I don't know, it's an intense wrinkle reduction firming glow facial serum. The little box looks like, I'll turn it like that so you can see it. We'll open it up so you can see what's actually inside. Oh, this is so cute! So it's like a little serum for wrinkles, which I probably won't use, but my mom is always begging for stuff for wrinkles because she knows I get samples and free products all the time, so I will probably give this to her. She'll be excited about that. That's all that came in there, but we'll just do a little up close of this little bag because it's really cute. I love how this is clear because I can see all my stuff in it. It's not like the highest quality bag, but hey, I like it and it's perfect just for taking with you in your purse or something or if you're traveling. I think that it's a really cute bag. So that's all the stuff that I got from Ulta. If you want to review on any of these products, like I said, just leave it in the comment section below because I'd happily do it. This box just wants to smack me. And when you order from Ulta, you also get a free hat. So I mean, <laughs> accessories. I'm weird. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have any video requests, leave them down below. It doesn't have to be beauty related. It can be funny videos, serious videos, whatever the heck you want. Just leave it down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you see new videos from me. It's normally every Monday and Friday, but lately it's been really hard on me to film every Monday and Friday. So a lot of times it's just been Mondays or just been Fridays, but I'm trying so hard to get back on schedule. It's just been very hard on me with life. <laughs> But I'm trying my best. Anyway, and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Add it to your favorites. And if you want to, just share it with the world. I love you guys so, so much. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you next time. Bye. So now I'm going to try on these liquid lipsticks for you guys. Or these lipsticks, I guess. The other thing would be considered a liquid lipstick. The next one. I don't know. But I'm going to take off the lipstick that I have on right now. Which, if you're wondering... What it is, it is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Canes. This is what it looks like. Like my go-to reddish color. I think they're around five, six dollars. So they're not bad at all and they're long wearing too. I mean, clearly they'll come off if you're like eating a lot, but you know, I'm just gonna wipe this off with a baby wipe. I couldn't find my makeup for with little wipes. Okay, ignore how patchy and weird my lips look because I'm wiping this off with a baby wipe so it makes my lips look weird. But okay, I got off the majority of that color, so the first one that I'm going to try on is, let's try the lightest color first. Going to try on the Essence Lipstick in number three, Almost Real. Can you get the mirror back? I immediately like this applicator. And it's very smooth. I don't know how this is going to wear as a liquid lipstick because it feels very glossy. However, I like it, so I'm not complaining. I'm just going by like a liquid lipstick form. They're normally a little drier. However, it may just take a couple minutes to dry. Okay, so that's with one dip. Very pretty color, very, very hydrating. Feels like a gloss. I don't know if this is going to dry matte. I'm not sure what the claims are on this, but this is what the color looks like. That's what it looks like. So it feels like it's getting a little drier, but not really a lot. That's what it looks like. Very pretty color. I'll have to give you guys a review on this sometime and just give you like an update in a video and let you know how I feel about them because I don't know if it's going to stay like a gloss or what. But either way, I really like it and it's very pretty and hydrating. Kind of tastes a little sweet, but that could be the baby wipe. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it has no scent. But it's almost got no scent. But the little bit of scent that it does have kind of smells like the pa plastic packaging. But it's like very faint. You really have to smell for it. And I don't smell it when it's on the lips at all. Let's try on number two. Beauty Secret. Ooh, this color's pretty. Looks a lot pinker in the camera. But in person, it's more of like a mauvey pink. I really like this applicator because it's like, not pliable, but flexible, that's the word. These definitely taste sweet like candy. They taste really, really good, like a vanilla-ish kind of taste. Not vanilla, I don't know how to explain it. This is what it looks like. It's actually a bit more mauve in person. However, it's not far off on the camera. It's just 
a little brighter pink on the camera. So this is what it looks like, which it doesn't really look like it goes well because I have like an orangey eye on right now, so it's not really going to look like it goes together. However, I really like this color on. I think it's pretty. I definitely think that these will get a little, not like matte, but they feel like they get a little less, like they're definitely tacky, but I feel like some of the glossiness has gone away like right in the center. Not really around, but I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I think they're really pretty. And I think even if they are more like a color gloss that they would wear off prettier than a liquid lipstick because sometimes liquid lipsticks can leave that ring around your lips. I know that's one thing with the soft matte lip cream that if I'm eating I kind of get like a ring but it's easy just to apply more over it so it's not something I complain about because I love it and I'll get over that one flaw. Now for what I'm really excited for is this NYX liquid suede cream lipstick in Sandstorm or number seven. Seven, well, and three are like my lucky numbers. And I hate odd numbers, so it's funny that that's my lucky numbers, but they're the two that I actually like. So hopefully I'm gonna really like this product in this color. Not that I really go off of that, but you know. This is really cute, you guys. My face looks gross because I've been sweating and so I got like that ring around my nose. It's not cute. Ooh, very nice little applicator. Okay, so let's try this on. Sorry that I'm just like talking and you can't see my face, but it's annoying to zoom in and out. Okay, so it's kind of like bent. Very creamy. It's more of a brown color on me than it was on the girl online. It was like more of a soft pink. Definitely a lot more of a soft pink. However, lucky for me, I like a brownish lip for certain looks. I'm going to go for a darker look. I actually like it with this eye makeup because I have a little bit of a bronzy color that it brings out. Okay, so this definitely needs to dry. However, I love this color, although it doesn't look the same on me as it does on the other girl online. However, I think that it's a very pretty mocha-ish kind of color. I actually really like this color on. I think that it complements me nicely. Um, not many people will like this if you don't like a brownish lip. However, it could show up differently on you because on the girl that I saw online, it was like a palish pink color. So on me, it like looks totally brown, but I like it. I think that it's very pretty. It's definitely drying. It's a little tacky right now. I'm going to leave this one on because it's the last one that I put on and it goes good with my makeup right now so I'm just gonna leave this one on but so far I really like all of them I mean I'm gonna have to wear them to know my full opinion on them but just first impressions I really like them I really like this color not many people will but I like more of the neutral colors anyway so I think that this is a very pretty color my mom's probably gonna try and steal this from me because she loves brownish lipsticks and I just kind of like burped as I was talking that's really a track cam Definitely getting drier around the edges. Like, I should have probably put a chapstick on under it, but it's not so dry that I can't stand it. It's just because I was scrubbing my lips with that baby wipe that it made them extra dry. So, it's definitely something you probably want to exfoliate before if your lips are super dry, but mine, I exfoliated my lips today, so I don't need to worry about it. But it's definitely getting tacky and like drier, so I think that this is a dry matte and not stiff, but like. It probably won't be super tacky anymore. I don't know how this is going to wear as far as eating and stuff. Kind of reminds me of uh, the soft matte lip cream mixed with like a Ofra liquid lipstick type of thing. It's not like the Ofra liquid lipstick, but it's like a combination of the two. Because you kind of got that little bit like thicker. Not, It doesn't feel thick, but it's thicker than a soft matte lip cream. So, yeah, but I like it. I think it's so comfortable on the lips, and I really like this color, so I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day because I think it's very pretty. Anyway, I hope you guys like the swatches. Also, swatch these on the back of my hand really quick for you guys. Just ignore the scratches that are on them. This is the NYX one in Sandstorm. Cut off, sorry about that, but that's Essence and Beauty Secret right beside it. Essence and Almost Real right here. And as you can see, these are all very, very pigmented and pretty. It's very nice neutral colors. I like them all. 